coming up in this read. You're adaptable, whereas others struggle with being adaptable. And that's what they're afraid of. And that's why they're afraid of change. Hi Scorpio, let's get into your September reading. Any information that you need, as always, you can find it in my pinned comment and in my description box below. If you're cross-watching for a Scorpio, then switch over the roles because I could be speaking directly to you so that energy can be interchangeable. And yeah, please do remember that this is a general reading, so it is absolutely not going to resonate for everybody. You only take what's resonating specifically for you and you leave what doesn't for someone else. OK, please also do respect the tarot and approach it with patience an open mind and without expectations. And finally, if you don't want to miss a video, then subscribe and stay notified. OK, so Scorpio, um, I'm hoping that you've seen my community post recently about the context of the reads that have been coming out for this for September. Um, they're very, very different from my usual reads. Um, normally it's about you as a person and what's going on in your own individual life. Um, the reads this month have been all about the the responsibilities, uh, the the part that you being a part of the Scorpio Collective, the part that you're going to have to play in the big change that's coming. OK, so I'm pretty sure that you've heard about the Great Reset. Well, there's going to be a lot of pushback to that and that there's going to be a lot of people that um, stand up against it because the rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer and people, quite frankly, have a sick to death of all of the fucking corruption. Um, <clears throat> so the reads have been coming out almost like uh, the, the, the universe has been given a rallying cry to the collective. And it's been indicating very loud and clear the part that each collective is going to have to play in this great pushback. OK, um, power to the people and all that. That's what's been coming out. OK, so you've got the magician and the wheel of fortune, which is incredibly positive. The two of cups and the eight of cups, the moon and the Ten of Cups. So the Magician and the Wheel of Fortune. This is saying that Scorpio Collective, right now, you are very powerful manifestors. Whatever you set your sights on, you're going to manifest into your physical reality. Now, obviously, with great power comes great responsibility. So just remember that. OK, keep in your mind's eye the bigger picture. Now, it can be really, really tempting to use this kind of power for selfish reasons, obviously, because we're all only human. Right. We're, we're all uh, vulnerable to corruption. We're, we're all vulnerable to temptations. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, use this power for good, right? Try, try not to use it for selfish reasons. So this is going to be for the greater good. Now, your manifestations are going to come in super quick as well, with the Wheel of Fortune being right next to it. OK, so really, really quick results, which means that you can move on quickly to the next thing and then the next thing and then the next thing. All right. Um, whatever it is that you're currently manifesting. Again, ju just keep keep it in perspective and make sure that you are using that power for good and that you're using your influence for good as well. Some of you are very, very influential. Let's clarify. And tell us more about the magician and the wheel of fortune, please for the Scorpio Collective and the part that they have to play, please. 
Scorpio Collective. Thank you. Super quick. <laughs> Temperance, yeah. The card alchemy. Exactly. Um, I feel that this is telling you to remember the laws of alchemy. So if you're not familiar with the laws of alchemy, definitely go and research them and ensure that while you're manifesting that you follow these laws of alchemy, okay? That, that, that you keep them to the forefront of everything that you're doing um, so that you can avoid having any kind of mishaps. All right, so obviously I'm, I'm not going to have time in like 20 minutes, half an hour, how, however long this video is going to be to go through every single law of alchemy. Find them, study them, print them off, learn them, memorize them, follow them. All right. Two of coins and the eight of cups. Why is this here, please? Thank you. Four of wands. It's leaving something behind. Something that was, I'm getting unsatisfactory. What is this, please? The Scorpio. Thank you. Three of coins. I'm just looking at this combination now, Scorpio, and I'm seeing it. The success of the ones nearest and dearest to you, with that being the four of wands, their success is also your success and your success is going to be their success. Tell us more about this, please, for Scorpio Collective. Knight of Wands. Mm. Super fast. It's very impulsive as well. But it feels like enlightenment. Something that you either say or do on impulse is going to be very, very enlightening to everybody else. It feels like a bit of a mic drop moment as well for you, Scorpio. Tell me more about that Eight of Cups, please. Why is that? Thank you. The Seven of Cups. Oh, you're reinforcing the message to people that they can start again. Look, Two of Coins, Eight of Cups, seven of cups they can start again that they, they can pick something new they can pick something different they can try something that they've never tried before so it's like shifting people's opinions hmm. the moon and the ten of coins why is this here please Moon and the Ten of Coins. You're also changing people's opinions from this sort of fear-based mentality into this hope mentality instead. So you're, you're demonstrating to people how, how they, they shouldn't be living in fear. Yeah, three of swords in reverse. It's healing energy. You're so over it. That's what I'm hearing. I'm so over it. I'm 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 so done with it. But it's specifically about how all you can see at the moment is a lot of people walking around in fear. 
But they're, they're only afraid because they can't see properly. Why can't they see properly? Because it's the moon. So you're, you're helping them to see properly because you're so over seeing everybody living in fear. Can you tell us more about this, please, Scorpio? Yeah, judgment has come out off balance. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah, the, the, the feelings are in, intense and intensified with judgment. Um, people gen generally having th this feeling of not just exhaustion but of, of something else it can also be censorship as well Pe people are censoring themselves they're putting these censorship rules on themselves because they're, they're, they're afraid they're afraid of upsetting the apple cart. And then you come along and it's like, yeah, you have no problem upsetting the apple cart. No problem with that at all. So this could well be indicating that the, the part that you play in this big pushback, Scorpio, you, it, it's almost like you're going to be the, the spiritual rogue type thing, you, you know, uh, being accused of being a little upstart and having threats of censorship put on you and this that, and next but i don't think that that's going to stop you at all wow okay you can tell us about the atmosphere or the environment or people scorpio thank you hanged man in reverse yeah <clears throat> mm-hmm um, yeah, too many people walking around with this whole woe is me, woe is me attitude and, and you shining light on that and saying, look, guys, this isn't the time or the place for any of you to be sitting there feeling sorry for yourselves. This is a time for you to be actually standing up and doing something about it instead of wallowing in this hanged man reverse, in this self pity. Yeah. <clears throat> Ten of cups and the high priestess page of coins oh and the knight of cups yeah it's beautiful i'm seeing a message about some kind of security here as well scorpio um i don't know why that's coming through but it's like these people around you are wallowing in their self-pity because they they don't feel secure and yeah they they definitely do feel helpless as well but it, it's indicating that um, oh, I can't find the words. It's it's almost like you. It's it's not speaking. It, it it's demonstration, but it's a different type of demonstration. Rather, it it's not a demonstration by speaking. It's a demonstration by doing. Um, so it, it, it's like people are following by your example, Ace of Wands, yeah, ambition, drive, newness, um, people are afraid, people are afraid of something new, new possibilities, uh, that, that's been coming out a lot in these reads as well, but you're teaching people that there's hope Th there is a lot of hope that comes with this change. Ten of Cups and High Priestess, why is this here, please? Something to do with the subconscious mind. What's going on with the High Priestess for Scorpio, please? Some of you have got uh, knowledge that has come straight from uh, the Divine, the Universe as well. Nine, nine of Swords, yeah. Knight of Coins, now that's come out off balance. Off balance can be blockages. So people perhaps are going to be put off by how long this process is going to take, but they need to realise that we have already been in this process for a long time already. 
It's just now we're at the stage of, of the pushback where we're actually all going to start to see results. Now, you've got some kind of knowledge here with this high priestess. It's like spiritual knowledge. Um, and contentment, things being in alignment, happiness as well. Happiness. Can you tell us more about this happiness and alignment, please? Scorpio. Thank you. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. You're teaching people what it is that they need to release. Eight of Cups. And it's about their fears and darkness specifically. The, the shit that keeps people awake at night. You're exposing people's fears. So while you're being this spiritual rogue and, and being accused of being like a little upstart and stuff, it's exposing people's fears. And that's good because then, then, they, they, then they have to fucking look at it. Because they can't keep living this lie. But you're not doing it maliciously because it's the Ten of Cups. You're doing this naturally just by the way that you're currently living. You're adaptable, whereas others struggle with being adaptable. And that's what they're afraid of. And that's why they're afraid of change. And then Page of Coins, Knight of Cups. Can you tell us more about this, please? For Scorpio, Page of Coins, Knight of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely exposing people's fears. Um, okay, so I'm just writing down notes, Scorpio, because I, I need to uh, change this month's description boxes to match the content that's been coming out. Uh, so I'm, I'm writing down important notes that are coming out in these reads so that I can add that then to your description box. Um, right, Page of Coins, Knight of Cups and Two of Coins everlasting some something's everlasting what is it that's everlasting what is it that's everlasting please what is this message scorpio thank you king of coins wealth of the people there, there's a return there's a return that's why it's page yeah that's why it's a page. Um, there, there is a return to the people's wealth and their individual power and their uh, security as well, with that being a king of coins energy. Right. Um, I fully suspect that this is indicating that uh, these quote-unquote little upstarts, such as yourself, is going to be the driving force behind people getting some kind of rebates. Financial rebates at that. Yep. That's why it's a page. It's a new path, new action. The beginnings of something new. So the first signs that, that you're going to witness that this pushback actually has had an effect on those who are currently in power are these, these rebates. Can you tell us more about this, please, Scorpio? So the people matter. At the moment, the collective don't think that they can have an impact. They don't believe that they can, they can initiate the changes that are needing, needed in society. They actually can. Yeah. Yeah. Five of Swords. Because at the moment, everybody just feels helpless, don't they? But they don't realize that it's the people that have the power 
but the ones that are currently in power are going to have a very harsh reminder of where the true power actually lies, and it lies with the people. A lot of money is going to be exchanging hands here. And I feel, I feel, see, with that being the two of coins, it's going page two to the king. That's a huge fucking jump. That's a huge jump. So at the moment, people are barely struggling to keep their heads above water because everything is going to. Right? I need to be careful about how much I'm saying. Um, though those people in power are going to have to give that back. I'm sure that that's what it's telling me. Yeah, because it's causing too much trouble. Sun in reverse. It's causing too... Their greed is causing way too much trouble. They're, they're not going to have any option other than give back to the people. Mm. Okay. What else can you tell us, please, for Scorpio's part? Oh, of course, you're eighth house as well, aren't you? That's literally other people's money, as well as <laughs> taxes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right enough. Because eighth house is like death, debt, sex, assets, taxes, uh, other people's money, inheritances, uh, the, the, the psyche, life's mysteries. All, all of that dark, dirty stuff that people don't usually like to look at, but they have to because it's a part of life. All of that stuff is, is eighth house energy. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. So you, you're you going to be getting your hands dirty, basically. You, you're going to be down in the trenches. Like, spiritually speaking, you're, you're down in the trenches. Yeah. Because the time has passed now for these individuals who are full of self-interest to get the fuck off the stage. Number 45. Okay. Right, so um, I'm taking this straight from MG Colony and her message for this card says, and I have to say that because I don't need to sit there thinking, oh, wh wh why are you saying I and me? Well, it, it, it's not me, okay? <laughs> right, so she says, I regularly have four neighbourhood crow visitors. There is one crow that seems a bit more selfish when it comes to the food that I put out. Now, who does that sound like to you, Scorpio, given the context that these readings have been coming out? That's the big fat cats, the ones who are currently in power. Uh, while the other crows take their turns, grabbing a nugget of uh, Grabbing a nugget or two of the dog food that I leave out on a plate, there is one that will shove as much as it can in its mouth as possible, not caring if there isn't a single crumb left for the others. Mm -hmm. Self-interest indicates that you may be looking out only for yourself. Well, that's not what this read is about. This is about the ones who are currently in power, who are only looking out for them fucking selves and to hell with the rest of us. That's what this read is about. And as a result, others will be impacted. Yeah, no shit. That's, that's why there's so much disharmony at the moment. On the flip side, be aware of the actions taken by those around you, as someone may try to come in and take more than their fair share. Well, that is exactly what's going on right now, isn't it? Being selfish isn't always bad. True. Sometimes we need to focus on our wants and needs. Yeah. Depending on your situation, self-interest may indicate that you're in need of some pampering or that it's time for you to put your needs above others. For example, your dream job may require a move or a shift in lifestyle. You may need to weigh the impact of taking on this job and what impact that will have on others around you. In the short term, you may be perceived as being selfish, but in the long term, your decision may benefit all of those involved. So you're going to be accused. Remember how I says that you're going to be accused of being these little upstarts. 
because you're, you're coming out in the street as like being the spiritual rogues, right down in the trenches, getting dirty, exposing the corruption for exactly what it is, exposing exactly how deep the corrosion, uh, corrosion? That was an interesting slip. How deep the corrosion then and corruption actually goes? Being accused of upsetting the apple cart? Well, the truth be told that the apple cart is well and truly already upset, but it's been upset by the greedy few. Not by the rest of us, but by the greedy few, by those who have been taken way much more than, than what is fair and than what is right. That's also that. I feel that that is connected to the root chakra as well, which pertains to the physical needs of others. It deals with survival, survival instinct, security, the ability to keep yourself grounded. And guess what? It can be blocked by fear, which is really, really interesting because we've already had that message about the, the fears of others. Yeah. Honestly, these these readings have been really, really bizarre and very, very unexpected as well. What else, please? Oh, OK. Make waves. Make waves, mermaid. What was that about being a little upstart? I'm all right. Make waves, mermaid. You're amazing. You're stronger than you think. Mm hmm. Yep. So oftentimes um, when we're surrounded by people who are in this fear mindset, it can be really easy to sort of slip into the same mindset as them. So remember that you're a lot stronger than you think and that it actually it's okay for you to make waves you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing be fabulous have a spectacular day just keep a positive mindset <clears throat> and no limits but the sky i love this card because i always say well there, there's there's even stuff over and above the sky as well so just no limits okay no limits at all. Ask for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Make me one with everything. He was frank with me. Make me one with everything. That can be about greed again, can't it? He was frank with me. So you're going to be straight and to the point. You're going to say it how it is, even if other people accuse you of being somewhat offensive. Because you're sick and tired of all the greed and the selfishness. You're done. You, you've reached your limit of what it is that, that you're willing to put up with. Mm. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to need to leave that one there, Scorpio. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading, then you can place your booking at phoenixkiatarot.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.